Yo, in here, week four. So, this week we're talking about dysphoria. The definition of dysphoria. A state of unease or generalised dissatisfaction with life. Okay, so, dysphoria. Hmm. Every single trans person is dysphoric, dysphoric, whatever, about some part of their life. Some people are just dysphoric about their body. I've never ever been happy with my body ever since I was a child. I hit puberty and started developing breasts. I hate it. I want to cut my tits off. It's safe to say I hate my chest. Right now, in England, it's fucking boiling. But, it's horrible binding in this weather. It's sticky. And when I visit my dad up in Miami, it's boiling there too. My dysphoria. These bits here, hate this. My bitch, no matter how much I work out, these are always fucking there. Okay, so, it's safe to say, Everyone's a little bit dysphoric about their body. Now guys, I get that your bodies aren't the way that you want them to be. My body isn't how I want it to be either. But listen, it's cool. Because one day it will be. You just have to be patient. I can't wait to go on tea so I can grow facial hair. That's one thing about my body that I don't like. And not many people on the internet kind of talk about this because they always talk about the big things about their body that they don't like. I can live with my chest like this until I get my, my surgery. Admittedly, it's a fucking bitch in this weather. I hate my face because I wanted to have facial hair. It's not that I want to grow a beard, it's that I want to have the option of growing a beard. My bottom half, although I would like it to be different, the procedures that are out there don't really appeal to me. Because I feel like with the bottom surgery, I feel like there's a lot of giveaway. I feel like you have to give up something in order to gain what you want. Top surgery, I would do tomorrow. If someone called me up and was like, you come with surgery tomorrow, I'd be like, I will fucking see you there. All I want to do is be able to set my top off, especially in weather like this. Okay, admittedly, right now, I don't have much of a sex life, but when I did have a sex life, I find it very uncomfortable when a girl would feel my downstairs area, you know. Even though it, even though it felt good, it made me worry, especially when I was with a girl that was straight. I was worried that a stray girl would start going down and then panic because it's not what she thought it was going to be. Even though she knew that I was trans, I was worried that she was going to think it was going to be something else or that she was going to freak out because it wasn't that something else. So honestly guys, your body is what it is. You have to live with it until you're able to change. For many people, you can't afford the changes that you want to get. You can't afford your top surgery, you can't afford your bottom surgery. For some guys, you can't afford your tea. And it's horrible. It's horrible having to wait for your tea. It's horrible having to wait for your top surgery. It's horrible having to wait for your bottom surgery. It's horrible having to wait for your body to become how you want it to be to everyone else. I seen a video by a guy the other day saying that people wouldn't be as dysphoric if they didn't have the pressures of society pushing them to be that one thing. Batman, this is the typical male, but he's he's imaged as a typical male, as the male that he's supposed to be. Catwoman, hot as fuck by the way, well done on Hathaway. This is what society aims women to look like, and this is what society aims for men to look like. Sometimes you just have to make your own category, sometimes you have to twist the rules of society in order to fit in. I'm not saying it's going to get rid of your dysphoria. I've kind of come around to the fact that I can't get my top surgery for quite a few years right now. Mainly because I'm moving away 
partly because I won't be able to afford it, etc, etc. But guys, you have to start living with it. You have to start becoming one. If you don't become one with your body, you're going to want to change every single thing about it until you look like this. By the Joker, Catwoman, and Batman. I'm Kaden. I'll see y'all next week.